So our, our big long-term ambition at the BFI is to make sure that everyone across the UK can access all the wonders of uh, not only our film programmes, but film, TV and the moving image, wherever they are. This period of lockdown has given us a great opportunity to really rethink how we're going to be able to get film to audiences. And obviously, as with everybody else, it's been a primarily digital route so far. So the LFF is, I'd say, the kind of culmination of six months of thinking and planning. And now for the first time, we're able to deliver a truly digital first UK wide edition of the festival. I know that one of the big ambitions for Trisha and her team was to ensure that independent cinemas had a really significant role in the festival as they've always as they always have done. And so making sure that cinemas across the UK, many of our um, partners through the Film Audience Network play a key role in getting films to audience this year is going to be uh, very significant and as significant as the digital aspect. As much as I think we're all excited about running a digital first edition of the festival and all of the opportunities that watching films digitally has given us over the last six months, I think it's fair to say that it's also really important that we do see cinemas and independent cinemas reopening again. And we've seen many of those cinemas reopening over the last few weeks, including our own cinema, the BFI South Bank. So it's great that the festival and I know it was very important to Trisha and her team that the festival is supporting independent cinemas as they reopen and that we give audiences the opportunity to get back into cinema and experience films on the big screen again. And filmmakers and audiences now want to get very different things out of their screen time and I think stories are being told in many different ways so one of our big ambitions at the BFI is to make sure that stories are told in whatever format, in whatever sort of shape and size the filmmaker intended. So seeing the festival expand into their expanded strand and looking at immersive and interactive work is very much a reflection of where I think we're heading with the BFI more generally in terms of making sure that new technology, new digital formats are incorporated into storytelling on screen. And film festivals are always a moment where international friends and colleagues come together and talk about film and share film and trade in the business of film. So I think obviously for many festivals around the world this year was quite devastating initially in terms of how they were going to bring their audiences and that community together. If anything, digital has this opportunity to close some of those bridges down, albeit in different ways. And I know that the We Are One film festival that ran earlier in the summer and various other initiatives that have run through the summer across film market platforms and the way that the autumn festivals have come together to collaborate is a sign of just how strong the film community is, I think.